Hi, this lesson uh, is about the book of Jonah and about the story of Jonah and, and God pursuing Jonah and the, <clears throat> and the people of Nineveh. Let me set the, set the stage for you here. So Jonah is essentially called by God to go to Nineveh and, uh, and preach to the Ninevites who are a, a super wicked uh, people. So God essentially, they were, they were so wicked they couldn't tell I left from their right, and, and God essentially said, I've had enough of you. You are gonna have somebody come to you and preach you preach you the word, and you're gonna have you're gonna have forty days, and if you're not better, if you're not if you didn't repent by the end of those forty days, you are toast, essentially. He was going to totally destroy them. So, in the story of Jonah, uh, God relentlessly pursued <clears throat> the people of Nineveh, like we just talked about, the evil, wicked people, and and the heart of Jonah. Those are both very important. Um, the, when the word of God came to Jonah to preach a message to Nineveh, he ran. So he literally got in a boat, and if, if he starts here and Nineveh's here, he went this way. So he attempted to go to, uh, to Tarshish. So that is in the opposite direction. So, as he was on this boat trip, going the opposite direction of what God wanted him to do, God sent a extreme, an extremely strong storm, and Jonah was just in the bottom of the boat, and I am on a boat. My boat does not have a bottom to sleep in, but you can picture it. And he was in the bottom sleeping, and the captain came down and goes, hey, what, what are you doing down here? How are you sleeping through this? And he was like, oh, yeah, it's not a big deal. So, the sailors cast lots. They cast lots. The lot fell on, on Jonah. Um, and uh, <clears throat> they, it's Jonah essentially confessed to the to the sailors on the ship that he was running away from God. He said he worshipped God, so that was good that he didn't lie. Um, and uh, and that the storm was his fault, and that their only way to save themselves was to throw him overboard. So in the middle of the sea, that's uh, that's essentially a death sentence. Right? So the sailors tried everything they could do. They threw cargo over this over the side of the ship. Um, they attempted to row row the boat, uh, uh, power the boat manually to, to overcome the storm, but nothing was working. So they finally, essentially, said, "You know, don't God, don't don't take this life's man, this man's life, and and put it on us. With an, this is an innocent man, and we don't want to kill him, but we don't know what else to do." So they finally listened to Jonah and they threw him overboard and then the storm stopped. Go figure. So a you would think at this point Jonah's left for dead in the middle of the sea. So God sends a big fish. A big fish that comes and eats Jonah up, swallows him whole. So he goes right in the belly of the fish. He spends three days and three nights in the belly of the fish. Um, so and at this time Jonah finally realizes that he's doing the total wrong thing and and he needs to do a 180 right so he recognizes his need to repent and ask for forgiveness so he finally does that he prays in the belly of the fish the fish spits him up he's probably super gross he goes after his the fish spits him up he goes to Nineveh and he preaches to the Ninevites now this is a crazy part God changes the, the hearts of the Ninevites after Jonah, Jonah preaches the word to them, and they all totally repent, even the king. The king issues a decree that it's time to, it's a time to fast, and basically everybody needs to repent. So Jonah was mad about God's forgiveness of the Ninevites, even though God had just forgiven Jonah for running away from him. That's kind of ironic, right? So God, once again, uh, pursued Jonah, and Jonah was outside the city. He was in the scorching heat. God sent him uh, a bush, a tree, a weed, whatever you want to call it, um, that essentially provided him shade. And then Jonah said, you know what, God, I'm sick of this. I can't believe I just did this and I want to die. So God sent a worm, it ate the bush. And the whole time, you know, God was simply after Jonah's heart. There wasn't anything special about Jonah that he was, that he had to be the one to go and preach to the Ninevites. God could have used could have used anyone to to accomplish his mission um you know jonah was just an ordinary person it wasn't like he was you know this 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 big time celebrity um he was god was after jonah's heart so he he kept trying to change jonah's heart about 
about um, you know kept trying to to pursue the heart and make Jonah's heart be in the right place. Um, so here's a few conversation questions. Um, who does God desire for you or your family uh, to extend mercy and love to right now? Um, you know, life might, might look a little different for you. Maybe somebody needs to pick me up or, or something like that. You know, school looks a little different. Sports look a little different. Um, you know, maybe, maybe somebody just needs a little bit of extra love and mercy right now. Um, have there been opportunities for, uh, for you or your family to further the gospel that have been provided to you by the Lord? Um, you know, if so, were we obedient, disobedient? What did we do there? You know, what what are we going to do next time when when these these opportunities arise? Because they 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 arise all the time. You know, if you're at school and you're walking a certain way, right, and you see somebody you don't like, but it's an opportunity to witness, be a witness for Christ. Um, are you going to do what Jonah did and walk the other direction and try to try to get away from them, or are you gonna you gonna take it head on and, and do what God wants you to do? Um, how has how has bias or prejudice um, kept our family from loving or extending mercy to those around you? Um, that's that's a good one to uh, to discuss because there there are people people that you you just don't really care for and uh, like Jonah and the Ninevites and uh, and how did how did that affect how did that affect the mission? How did that affect us saving you know uh, um, you know trying trying to get the word out there and, and witness to other people? So now here's a challenge for you. As a family, uh, discuss what opportunities are available right now for your family to further the gospel. Maybe it means inviting your neighbors for a cookout, um, or sit, sit, sitting down and, and serving you know, at, at a place where, where people less fortunate than us maybe eat their only meal of the day. Who, who knows? You know, Whatever that looks like for you, uh, make a plan and don't delay in following through. Um, and Because uh, procrastination is essentially just arrogance against God that he's going to give you another opportunity to serve, right? So, so don't wait, act now. Um, you know, you can pull out your phone, your, your family calendar, if you have one on the wall and, and put something on the calendar today, you know, God demands obedience and he desires for his people to share his truth and love with others. Um, so that was Jonah. I would encourage you to go and go and read the whole thing. Um, and, and if you have any questions, please reach out. Thanks.